Hello students, this is the two minutes or less TikTok style version of chapter seven. So what, who cares? Saying why it matters. This is one of my favorite chapters in the text because readers need to know why they should care. Um, you must explain it to them. It is your duty and your responsibility. Do not assume that readers know. I'll say it again. Don't assume that the readers know. Don't assume that the readers have already read what you're talking about. That is not the case. Always pretend that they don't. Many students feel like outsiders, right? When they leave a lecture or when they read a paper. And that's because people don't always say why, right? They don't give you the why or who cares or why you should care. So make sure you do that for your readers. So don't assume readers will figure it out or figure out what you're meaning, what you're gonna mean. Um, or what you're trying to say, right? Or why they should care. You have to give it to them. So all writers must answer that question. So what? Who cares? And answer those questions up front. So, but writers who fail to show what others should care about or already do care about, right? Their claims will automatically and ultimately lose uh, their audience interest, right? So if you're not telling us why to care, why should we care? Um, explicitly say why readers should care and why they should listen to your argument. Don't be afraid to just come out and say, hey, this is why you should care. It's okay to say that. Being specific about who agrees with you and who that they say is, that gives you credibility, so that's excellent. Another tip is to appeal to something that readers already care about. Um, identify an interested group to focus on your argument on and the larger conversation, and that kind of helps you say what matters, right? Um, this also helps people know why it really matters and why they should care. Um, it can also help to appeal to something that they already know, right? So um, for example, people already know that climate change is, is a problem, right? Or they're having climate issues. Then more people are gonna be able to take interest in your or why and who cares. Um, I highly encourage you to read through the chapter because the example that the text provides about Grady's article on fat cells is an exceptional example of why we should care and who cares, right? It's really there talking about like so many people are obese, so many people are overweight, and this is why we should care that it's, you know, an endocrine system of its own. Um, consider who has a stake in the argument, that who cares, as well as the larger consequences of the argument. So go as far as you possibly can to answer that question, who cares, so what? Carefully explain to your reader why they should care because when you add those things in there, it's like you're a cheerleader for your own work. Step back from the text and explain why it matters. I cannot tell you guys enough. Please, please be explicit in this. I encourage you to read through the templates in the chapter and utilize them because this is an excellent thing. It really, really will show you guys how to be a better writer, okay? With that, I wish you guys the very, very best and good luck. I will see you online.